Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I'm going to play a game between the White Sox and the Houston Astros. Daytime is prime time on WSNS Channel 44, Chicago. And we are going to do that with the imagined set by Stratomatic. Now, as a reminder, the imagined set is Stratomatic's estimation of how all of the players would have performed or what their cards would have been like had they all played a regular 162 game season, which is in many cases slightly different than what the 60 game cards are. Um, even if you multiplied the 60 game cards by 2.7, to arrive at a 162 game uh, schedule or 162 game, uh, you know, combined performance. Um, these are, they're, they're slightly different. So this is Stratomatics imagined um, 2020 season had it played out for a 162 game schedule. Today we are going to do um, the uh, we're going to play at Houston. I'm you know I, I like the looks of that Houston ballpark that they have for the uh, in the in the new game. I think it's slightly different than the one that they had for um, last year. And it's going to be Zach Greinke on the mound for the Houston Astros, and we're going to have Lucas Giolito. So we're going to have the two aces matching up against each other. And uh, let me uh, go in here and fiddle with the sound. No, you know what? I'm going to keep it like this. Well, no. No, I guess I can't really do that. Um, or at least I shouldn't. Uh, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. We'll just go with it. Welcome to the stadium for today's ballgame. So let me move myself kind of up here. All right, I'm going to turn the sound down. After the anthem. We'll let the anthem play out. How about that? So now I'm turning the sound down and we're getting ready to go with Tim Anderson up at the plate against, oh yeah, you know what? Let me see if I, no, I, hmm. let me see here. Options, uh, card dice splits. Let me put it on. Um, all three dice stop together. And let me see if that allows the dice to show up. We're going to swing away. No, it doesn't. Well, anyway. So Anderson's out, and that brings up Johan Moncada against Grenke. He's going to swing away. I'm not sure what else I had to click on to get the dice to show, you know, but I didn't want to sit here all day trying to play with it. Yasmani Grandal up against Grenke. We're going to swing away with him. 
And for those of you unfamiliar with Scott and Brack, these are the teams from last season, uh, but Stratomatic X, um, uh, estimation of how all the players would have performed had there been a 162 game season. So George Springer is up. I don't have a photo of George Springer. I don't know why. I probably do. It's just that in the, the photo file, they probably may put an extension on it so he doesn't show up. Jose Altuve, who did not have the greatest year, but in the Imagine Season cards, he actually does better than he did, and he's aboard. He did, he had a better card and uh, was envisioned playing better than he actually did in the 60-game season that the uh, Astros actually played. And so here is Alex Bregman to face Giolito with Altuve aboard and one down. And he is out, and that brings up Michael Brantley. And we're going to throw for the runner. It was probably a hit and run because it's only 40%, and he's out. So the Astros take the field, and we are up in the top of the second with Jose Abreu against Greinke. And that is going to be an out. And Eloy Jimenez is up. And he hits it slow between in the hole. And he's out, though. Two away. And that brings up Edwin Encarnacio. Who I don't know. I did not hear that he was even on a team yet. I don't know if he's, he may be in, like, forced retirement. But now Giolito's pitching to Brantley, who was at the plate when El Tuve, I believe, got thrown out at second base last inning. And he hits the ball in the air, but it looks like Robert's going to make a play on that. And that's one down, and that brings up Yuli Aguriel, who is on my, one of my automatic teams in one of my leagues. I drafted him this, this, uh, from this set, or from this, you know, in this year. He was available, and uh, I got him. So here is Carlos Correa with two down, bottom of the second, nobody in. And he hits the ball into the hole, and that's an out. So we come up with Lewis Robert. Now, I know I don't have a pitcher of Lewis Robert. I got to go get one. He hits the ball. Looks like it's going to be in the gap, at least. He's shopping at the gap, looks like. And he is on second, and that brings up Noma Mazzara. And he is going to hit a ground ball to second. That should move Robert to third, though. And it does. Madrigal up with a man 90 feet away and only one out. And it looks like he's going shopping at the gap a little bit. And going to knock that runner in. And he does. So the White Sox take a 1-0 lead. And we have Tim Anderson up. And Tim Anderson, that was a bullet drive, but maybe somebody got it. Yeah, they did. So Moncada is up with two down. Oh, man, at second. Come on, Moncada. Ah! Did he hit? No. He's going to fly out to Tucker, it looks like. So that brings up Josh Reddick to face Giolito. And the reason I'm doing this matchup, I mean, Houston, I'm well, actually, there's a reason behind picking both teams. The White Sox, as you know, are my favorite team. Or if you watch the channel at all, you know that the White Sox are my favorite team. And that looks like that's going to be a fly out for the second out for Houston. And, uh, no, he, oh, I guess uh, Mazzara dropped it. Or, or, yeah. So, anyway, no, he got a hit. He got a hit off the handle. Um, so, that's why the White Sox. And Houston, because I know I've got a couple of people that subscribe to the channel that are Houston fans. So, that's why. Now we got two on. A little trouble for Giolito. Two on with one out and George Springer up. He's not in the Blue Jays, but of course, last year he was still on Houston. 
That is going to be a fly out, looks like, to Robert. And that is, and now L2 is up. And did he get him? No, it was a it was a pass ball. So L2 is still up at the plate. That's going to be a fly ball. Hopeful, no, it might be a home run. I, I think he went deep. Yeah, he did. So Houston takes a 3-1 lead on an Altuve home run. I told you he had a better card in the imagined season. And Alex Bregman is up. And Alex Bregman hits one up the middle for a base hit. And that brings up Brantley. Michael Brandt. And really, Giolito is just falling apart here already in the third. It didn't even take long. And now the bases are loaded as he walked um, on Duriel, and now he's pitching to Korea. And that's going to be a fly ball, maybe? Yes, looks like maybe Mazzaro will handle that one. And he does. But Houston takes a 3-1 to one lead, and we have Grand Doll up, going to swing away with him. He strikes out. That brings up Abreu swinging away. And he's going to be out. And that brings up Eloy Jimenez. Also, another reason to do this game, which I just came to my mind, is that in 2020, these two teams did not play. They didn't play each other at all. Um, so, because of the way the schedule was, because of the virus, that's how it works. So, we didn't even really play them. So, now you're seeing a game that never actually really happened between teams that are based on statistics that the Stratomatic Game Company envisioned would have happened had there been a 162-game schedule. And that brings uh, Gileto back to the mound to pitch to Reddick. I'm going to keep him in for right now, although I'm not happy with how he's pitched. One down and Kyle Tucker up. We're only losing 3-1, so we're still in this game. And that's going to be a ground out. And that brings up Maldonado. I love Maldonado. He's one of my favorite catchers. I've had him the last few years in my Stratomatic, competitive Stratomatic League and Elmwood League that you've heard me talk about quite often. But this year I had to let him go because he became a free agent and I had intended to possibly redraft him, but never ended up doing that. And instead I got um, uh, Barnhart from Cincinnati. And that's gonna be into the gap, looks like for Springer. No, it's caught. It looks like probably Ro had to be Robert because the other outfielder out there was Jimenez, and I don't think he would be making spectacular catches. All right, so Encarnacion, uh, we're going to swing away with him. He was terrible last year. It looks like he, he got him. He got him. Lewis Robert up. And he is going to, looks like, fly out to Springer for two down here in the fifth. And Mazar is up. I'm, I'm glad we don't have Mazar anymore. He was terrible. And did he walk? No. So we go to the bottom of the fifth. Losing still three to one. Giolito with the bad, really, really bad third inning. And there's a ground ball to Madrigal. Scoops and throws him up. Bregman up. He is out. And that brings up Michael Brantley. No, no, he's not out. So he's on first base. He's one with a man at first. Another fly ball to Mazzaro. Hopefully he plays that. And he does. And Guriel is up with two down and Bregman aboard. And that was a ground ball, look, or a, a pass ball, pass catcher. And then a strikeout for Guriel, of, of Guriel. So no more runs come for Houston there. We go to the top of the sixth. 
Nick Madrigal up. He hits a ground ball and he is going to be out, looks like. Tim Anderson up. Now, Tim Anderson, as we, um, I did have a video, I, I did some comparison of the imagine season to the 60 game season and Anderson's card is a little tiny bit worse in the imagine season, which would make sense than it was in the 60 game season. Johan Moncada up with Anderson aboard and one out. And let's see if that's over Springer's head. It isn't. So we have two down. And yes, Monty Randall is at the plate. And does that walk? No, it's strike three. Are you kidding me? Granky painted the corner on that one. So we've got Giolito against Korea. Now, unlike Ricky Renneria, I don't go to the bullpen at the drop of a hat. So I'm going to pitch Giolito until he becomes ineffective. He has hit his inning of weakness, though, and then he just gave up a double to uh, Reddick. So his, or his pitch count is over what his pit recommended pitch count it is. As you can see right here, he's at pitch 103. And he's only um, rated to 101, and it's showing as Kyle Tucker now has taken it. And, uh, yeah, all right, I guess now I can go. To the <laughs> now I can go to the bullpen. I don't feel bad about going to the bullpen now, because he really is ineffective right now. We're only in the, uh, what are we, in the fifth, sixth. We're in the sixth, and we're losing, so I'll bring in Detweiler. Because uh, we still have a little ways to go in this game, and um, we're, in, we're down 5-1. So I'm not going to bring in somebody like Evan Marshall or somebody like that that throws smoke that, you know, shut the Houston lineup right down this early and then burn through the entire bullpen. Got a man aboard with two out. And Detweiler allows a fly ball to Jimenez. Hopefully he makes the play. And he does. So they got the Houston got two more runs though in the sixth. And we go to the top of the seventh, losing 5-1. One. one could imagine this game having been played. That's why it's called the imagined season. Now we have Eloy Jimenez up, and he's gonna swing away. Because, you know, it's, it's um, instructive to remember that all of these stats that the players had in the 60 game set, pitcher is injured on the play. All right, well, they have to bring in a new pitcher, and they bring in Andre Scrub. Now, I drafted this guy in my Elmwood League. He has a lot of walks all over his card, as you can, as you can see as we go back up, I guess. I can't point it out with the pointer, but look below. You can see he has a ton of walks on his card. So, um, but I drafted him. He's on my team. I just have to make sure he doesn't walk the bases loaded. And walk in runs. That's going to be an out for Encarnacion. And uh, so now, Deckweiler goes back out to the mound. He's going to pitch in the seventh. I mean, we're still losing 5-1. I don't, I don't have anything to shut down. You know, I don't have that, you know, I don't have a lead to protect here. And Detweiler feels it too. And he's allowing a shopping thing to gap himself. So Bregman's on second with no outs. And Michael Brantley up. And he is going to hopefully fly out to Jimenez. And he does. Guriel is up. Detweiler deals, and he's going to hit it maybe in the hole. Yes, he does. He hits it in the hole and knocks in the run, and now he's at first, and it is 6-1. The White Sox falling apart here. I may have to do another game at some other point, but this is just one game. And uh, just to, you know... Give you guys a feel of what a Houston White Sox game would have been like. Because, like, you know, I could have played the Twins, but we played the Twins like 75 times last year. So, fly out to Jimenez. That's the second out. 
Uh, we are in the seventh and with two outs, so I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go get another reliever. Plus, I don't have a season where I have to worry about, you know, burning my bullpen up. So I'm going to bring in Hewer to pitch. We do not have a, a Cody Hewer photo. If I decide to do a game like this, another, like, you know, White Sox versus somebody, I'll get some more pictures of some of the guys. And Hewer allows a hit through the hole. I'm going to throw for the lead runner because we got no chance of winning. And he did throw him out. Crazy. All right. So, um, the, so the score stays 6-1. But, of course, that's not particularly good since we need five runs. Uh, did he walk a guy? No. Mazzara's up with one down. Did he walk him? He did. Okay. I mean, if he pitches great, then maybe I'll just put him on my active roster after my competitive league and my Elmwood league. Two down, Tim Anderson up with Mazzara at first. And that's a strike. So, we get nothing in the eighth. Not looking good here. Martin Maldonado up against Hewer, who I'm sending out there for the second inning of work. And he's out, and George Springer up. And that's going to be hopefully a fly ball to Mazzara. Looks like it might be. And it is. And El Tuve is up, and he Hewer is just below his pitch weakness, or his, his pitch. Not, it's not really a limit. It's like a pitch, like you're going to start to fall apart thing. All right, so we've got uh, Scrub on the mound against us. We need five runs right here. Johan Moncada leading off. I want to remind any, everybody or anyone who's watching the game and enjoying it, if you are not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything and uh, helps me out. And leave a comment below. Give me a like if you like this. And the comment can be, hey, I want to see more matchups that didn't happen in uh, 2020. If that's the case, and the Braves up with two down, losing 6-1. Maybe do complete, I, you know, I picked the White Sox because they're my favorite team, but I'll do it in another matchup. You know, maybe the Dodgers against the Mets. That was a game that didn't exist. But anyway, uh, let's go get the box score. It was ugly for the White Sox. Got the White Sox there. Giolito, five and a third, five hits, five earned runs. Walked six. That must be the Imagine card, because the real card, the 60-game card, was, I think, really great. Um, but we lose 6-1. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.